If you believe this dramatic claim that all of the reason why the past and future have any differences between them is because entropy is increasing, then that also goes for our feeling that time is flowing or that we are flowing through time. People talk about it, or cultures actually talk about it in different ways. But the idea that we're moving through time, that we move from yesterday to today to tomorrow, where does that come from? And it's a great question because it clearly involves both psychology, it's a feeling, right? But also physics, because it's a different feeling about the past than about the future. And all of those differences come from entropy increasing. So why is it that we feel that time is flowing if really, from the physics point of view, there's no difference between one moment of time and another? Well, the answer is, at any one moment of time, the human brain is sort of reaching out to other moments of time, not physically reaching out, but it's carrying inside itself a version of what it thought happened a little bit ago and what it predicts will happen a moment next. The human brain in some sense, all brains, all animal brains, maybe even plant nervous systems, if you want to go that far, are trying to understand and predict their environment.